Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a crew crew YouTuber that's trying to be a no by. And today I'm going to do a video about 7 palettes that I thought I wasn't going to love, but that I do actually love. And I do not love all the palettes in my collection, does anybody? But these are 7 palettes that I bought and I thought like, yeah, I'm going to like them. But I do really love these palettes. And I think we just get started and I could definitely do a video where I talk about some palettes that I thought I was going to love but that I don't. But yeah, I think we just hop into this. So the first palette is actually the Tinker Beach palette from Colourpop or Sprinkle a Little Magic. This was the collab between Disney Tinkerbell and Colourpop and this palette looks like this and I thought the color story was really interesting for being a Tinkerbell palette because I thought it was going to be more muted and also like a little bit girlier cutie Tinker bitch um, if you get what I'm meaning but this has some depth to it and it's also like I really like this shade actually it's a really nice coal toned just a really good shadow and I thought I was going to yeah think it was an okay palette but I do actually really love it I just think this is so fun and it's not at all what I expected it to be it's so much more and it bugs me a little bit that it is the collab palette between Disney and Tinker Colourpop and Tinker Bitch because I don't like her at all so that makes me a little bit sad, but I'm, I'm still loving this palette and even though I don't like... I don't know if people like this because I don't, but like... I can't show you this, but the gold on here is like... And the gold on the back side, it is like raised and it is like it's glued glitter on it. I don't get it, but I do really love this palette. The next palette is an old palette that I have had in my collection for a couple of years and why I didn't thought I was going to love this is because these aren't colors that I was super thrilled about when I bought it. I bought this palette because I loved and wanted everything from this brand and okay. <laughs> It's the Whale Song palette. I did like green at the time, but I didn't like blue. But this, I think this is a really good palette. And now this is like maybe more me than it was when I bought it. I thought that I was going to like it, but I do actually love it. It has these two really grungy matte shadows, Kelp and Plankton. And then like this Fluke. It is an amazing green shimmer and this pearl is also really really nice. I do like all the shimmers in this. I do think the blues are good and they are workable and they are not like some blue shadows can be that they blend out to just a mess. And I do really love this palette and I didn't think that I was going to love it that much. This is one of my favorite palettes from Serenity. No. <gasps> this is one of my palette, favorite palettes from Menardry because it's something about this and I don't know what. I have done a lot of looks with this and I think I've liked every look that I've done. And as I said, blue and green wasn't my favorites. I did like green but I didn't like blue when I got this. But I do love this. And the next palette is also actually a blue palette and for a time this was like my favorite blue palette and uh, the palette that I loved so much more than I ever thought I was going to. I think I did a free looks one palette with this one and was like in love and like yeah maybe blue is my color. And it's the Blue Moon from Colourpop. And it looks like this. And as I said, blue isn't my favorite when it comes to eyeshadows. I think blue washes me out a little bit. I can... I look better in some blues than I do in others, as I guess we all do. But uh, yeah, this palette just works for me. 
and I don't know why, but it's just you and I think I like this more than I like the orange you glad from Colourpop, which has, says a lot because orange is my thing and not blue. But this is a palette I didn't expect to love it that much. I think when this came out, they didn't have that many monochromatic palettes. And I was like on a shopping spree as normal on Colourpop and bought it. And yeah, I do really like it. Then we have a palette from Nabla. And as you know, I do love Nabla's eyeshadow palettes. I have a lot of them. And this is one of the cutie palettes. And this is my favorite cutie palette. And I didn't thought it was going to be this one. But it is the Platinum. And why I didn't thought I was going to like it is because like grey isn't my thing when it comes to eyeshadows. And I was like, yeah, that, that is just grey. But oh no, it's not. Like this silver shimmer is so, so good. And like this grungier shimmer that just looks amazing and even though it's only two mattes in this palette it doesn't bother me like at all this is my favorite cutie palette and i didn't think that i was going to love this this came out they released three palettes first the nude coral on this one and i was like yeah coral is going to be my favorite because it has a red shimmer uh -uh. This is my favorite. And it has been my favorite throughout all of the seven cutie palettes. And I just love this. And I... This was like... I bought it because I wanted to have all the cutie palettes. But I ended up loving this. And it is still one of my favorites. And now I got an alarm. I'm sorry I'm doing laundry today. Grown-up things that you has to do. The next one is from <laughs> Ace Bute, and it's the Scarlet Dusk. And I bought this together with Winter Dawn. It looks like this. This is one of their small, smaller 12 pan palettes. And I was like, okay, I'm going to love the Winter Dawn and Scarlet Dusk. I'm just buying it because I want to collect Ace Bute. I ended up... <laughs> Loving this one and not the Scarlet the Vintage Dawn. And the thing I do really like about this, it's it has depth, this palette, and the shimmers are really good. And what I also do really love is like, you can do a pink look, you can do an orange look, and you can do like a darker look with it. And you can just do a lot of different looks and the shadows are really, really good. I think that Ace Bute is one of these brands, like, some of the shadows aren't that good in some of the palettes, like, it almost always is a dud, but I haven't found a dud in this, and even though it doesn't look that much to the world, I think it's a really fun palette to play with, but I was like, I'm never going to have this as a favorite over the Vintage Dawn, and maybe I can show you... The Vintage Dawn, if you don't know how it looks, this looks more like a Lisa palette, I think, than this one, but apparently not. Then I took another palette from Colourpop, and it is the Sweet Talk palette. It feels like I've talked a lot about this, the latest, and this is a palette that was, I would say it was really hyped, and I didn't get, like, why. I was like, why do people love this so much? And then I was on Colourpop's site, and I was like, okay, I'm going to buy it. I understand why people love this. It is a really good palette. A neutral palette with a peachy twist to it. That is really, really good. I think, like, the background isn't the best for this palette. Because I think it would look so much better if the background maybe was in this, like, bone color or in this lighter pink instead of this one because I think it takes away a little bit like how to see how the shadows really are but what I do really love about this it's it has like a darker shades and I think you can do a lot with it and it is a pressed glitter in this one uh, but I do like it still and I just think it is something about the Sweet Talk palette 
and uh, it doesn't look much to the world maybe but it's something special and the last <laughs> I'm so so sorry that I talk about this all the time but it is the side by side and can I it feels like I'm every time I'm talking about palettes I'm talking about the side by side palette but yeah I bought this I wasn't planning on buying this first because I was like do I need another neutral palette but then I think I saw some looks with it and I was like okay maybe I was ordering from Nabla, so I was like, okay. Or did I buy this from Beauty Bay, maybe? When it was on sale? Maybe I did that. That can be the case. And I was like, yeah. If I'm going to like it, it's okay. If I'm not, I, I'm not. But as you know, I do love this palette. And I thought it was just going to be like, yeah, it's another palette from Nabla. It's going to be nothing special about it. But it is something special about it. I don't know how many talk, how many times I've talked about this. I don't know how many times I've showed you this palette. I do not know how many get ready with me's I've done with this one. I don't know, and I'm so so sorry for that. But I just want to tell you, it is an amazing palette, even though it maybe doesn't look much to the world. It just is an amazing palette. And yeah, that was all the palettes for this video and I will happily do a video where I talk about seven palettes that I thought I was going to love, but I don't. And I hope that you think this was a fun video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!